Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing the version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the GB Jam 5. The GB Jam is a Game Boy themed jam where developers had to keep the original Game Boy screen resolution, make all of their assets during this jam, and use only four colors in their game. I'm playing all of the games that are written in this jam for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the games will be in the description so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout for that. As a side note, this jam is currently doing a Kickstarter because this is the fifth version of the jam. They want to continue making uh, Game Boy jams and make it even better and do some website upgrading and host it on their own site and stuff. So if you want to check out the Kickstarter, it'll, it's on the Game Boy Jam page linked in the description and you can see if you can help out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, liking, commenting. Next. We are playing Kitty Quest. We're like an adorable little kitty cat. Nope. Okay. There's a thing following us. I'm sure it's fine. Looks like a frog. Rescue everyone. Oh, so I have to like rescue more frogs. Okay. Are you guys everyone? Yeah, there's two like little dots, so they're probably... Yeah, rescue complete. Oh, that doesn't look fun. So I'm, I'm a kitty cat who's rescuing all these cute little animals. That's nice of me. I want a wall jump. Alright, there we go. Nope. I fell. There's the exit, but I haven't rescued everyone. Here's a fish. I like how I'm rescuing things that I normally would eat. There's a frog. Don't actually know if cats eat frogs, but I'm assuming they probably would. They eat kind of everything. Nope. <laughs> Wall jump's quite fun. Let's try this again. Alright, guys, stay with me. It's fine. Nope. Didn't mean to wall jump. Okay. We have one more to find. Okay. Got him. Got like a train of animals following me. Oh, alright, it's fine. Next. I'm playing Motorbike Rally X. Get ready. Alright, we're gonna do great. Probably. Definitely. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we were separated from everyone. It's fine, we got a turbo thing. Ah, but I also crashed. It's fine. Get some gas. Just hoping that guy would crash. He didn't. We're also kind of going the same way, which isn't very good. Ah, I'll go this way. Ah. Got a turbo. In second place. But I crashed into him. Ah. First place, but I crashed. Crap. I didn't do very well. This is a really well made game though. And I did pretty well considering I started at 6th. Wow, we zoomed right up to 2nd place. The fact that we have like an amount of gas that we can use kind of scares me. Alright, not crashing into people this time. Running low on gas, though. Which is, I'm pretty sure what happened last time. Ah, oh, we got turbo, but we didn't get gas. No, we made it! Number one! <laughs> Next. We're playing Tank GB. There we go. Alright, so we've got big shots and little shots. We shall go and destroy some stuff, probably. I like the colors. Oh, okay. Feel like we're doing alright? You dead? Yeah, you're probably dead. 
Awesome. We shall be the number one tank. Grab that. Another tank down. We'll continue onwards. Another tank. I'm pretty good at this. Destroying tanks. It's a very nice looking game. If we destroy this. Ah, oh, can we destroy this? Looks like we can. Maybe that's what all the tanks are protecting. Yay! <laughs> Next. We're playing camera following. Start to stay on the screen. That's your goal, to stay on the screen. It's loading. Uh, this is like a randomly generated uh, platformer, so you have to just try to stay on the screen as long as you can. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's... Okay. <laughs> gonna say, if you're, aw, oh, if you're just gonna go that way, we're fucked. All right, let's try this again. You can also play as like multiplayer on the same keyboard. I guess that's what the start two smiley faces are. All right. So just gotta stay in the center of the screen, really. It's a very clever idea. That started going down again, I was a bit worried. This is pretty neat. Next. We're playing Crash Course. Alright. Got it. Uh, Engineer 023, I am Aegis. Onboard AI, I apologize for waking you early. We sustained damage while passing through some debris that we require repair. And it appears to be a leak. There appears to be a leak in one of the life support system's oxygen lines. Unfortunately, my lack of limbs can make it difficult to repair things. I can pro project an indicator on your HUD. Head down the corridor below. Hey, got it. Will do. The graphics look super good in this. They're just on the right now. Just seal it carefully with your plasma cutter. All right. Engineer, be careful not to spark the oxygen line or it could ignite. They probably did. Human error, man. <laughs> Engineer, are you still breathing? Blink once if you can hear me. All right, the helmet. Engineer, ah, there you are. The life support is weak, but holding on steady. I would like to congratulate you on surviving that crash. However, the emergency power won't last very long and your suit transmitter is too weak for fleet to pick up the distress signal. You need to search the wreckage for materials that can be used to amplify the signal relay. Well, damn. I guess I look around the wreckage. Your suit can hold about five minutes of oxygen to return to the wreckage. The current signal strength will show up on your HUD. Fleet won't be able to pick up uh, the signal until it's 96, all right? That's not really good wreckage. That's probably not good wreckage either. Not sure what type of wreckage I'm gonna be looking. There is an all auxiliary reply in that debris is I can detect its signal. We can run it in tandem with your transmod transpotter and use it to boost output. To engineer the cargo crates ahead are equipped with low gravity modules. They should move easily if you push them forwards. Okay. What a neat little game. Ah. There's so many rocks here. Neat. Next. We're playing Soap Brawl. We're gonna clean up these dead people. Clean up your act, zombies. I'm actually cleaning the, the cleaned up guy. Try 
transform them into clean people. There we go. And they just sort of disappear in some suds. This is a really funny idea. Get a bunch of them all lined up so I can get them all done at once. Take some suds. I like the graphics as well. This way. Did we get them all? No, there's this guy. He looks like a boss as well. Oh, there's a couple of them. Just get him, get him, get him. Wow, he turned into a very big businessman. There we go. Oh, more of them. Someone got a hit in. Next. We're playing Faceless. Hmm. The instructions just say open locks. It wants me to use my controller though. Probably because it was ah, plugged in. I just lost my face. Alright. Nope. So there's some stuff there that we can't quite see. And it was just luck we got over the first time and now we're just failing. Okay. Thorns hurt the outside. Where am I supposed to go? Can't go back up. Nope. I don't know. Very nice looking game. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Which can definitely be a problem. Yep, I see all your thorns. But what? Nope. Missed the jump. I wonder if those things, if these are the locks that it's talking about. If so, I have no idea how we're supposed to get back up there at some point. Hmm. Nope, I don't know. I don't know where to go. Next. We're playing Slugcaster? Ah, oh, I think I understood. I died. You gotta kinda use this gun to propel you about. And protect you. And keep you up in the air. But not too far because there's spikes. Ah. I wanna get more towards the middle and not at all towards that line. Nope. Ah, death. This is a really challenging game. I like how the color palette keeps changing. That's a nice little touch. Shooting above you. Uh, that's quite challenging because it does propel you down. Alright. This is a really nice game though. Let me fall. Grab a couple more of those guys. Awesome. Next. We're playing avoider. Don't avoid this color. Don't touch the walls. Got it. I'm the square. I'm gonna avoid stuff. The game is avoider. Okay. I'm gonna do this better than anyone else in the world. I like how they sound like they're playing a song. That's pretty cool. Nope. Ah, oh, darn it. I even kept clicking, so I went through the end screen. I didn't even last 30 seconds, man. They always seem to be where I am. They come out right for me. What does it say at the end? Ah, uh, the time, best time. Alright, cool. Very well made avoiding game. It's quite simple, but it's nicely done. 
I target you so badly. Next. We're playing Nuna Lich. I can change the color palette between those two. I'm gonna do this one. All right, and M and N are the keys. Got it. I shoot sort of sideways. This is like plus M and N to shoot up. Ah, there we go. So we're just kind of going through the strange land, shooting all of the things on it. I uh, kind of like shooting upwards, but you can kind of go to the sides as well. Get rid of all these strange eyeball creatures. And then we'll continue. Ooh, I wasn't sure what that was. I thought for a minute that I should go near it. Probably shouldn't. It's a really nice little game. It's quite relaxing. What? Oh. There we go. Broke down the door. Ooh, I didn't expect it to shoot out three. Alright, next. 